Hello Sagittarius. This is Renee. Welcome. This is going to be your May 2023 reading. So we're going to take a look at love and relationships. We're going to take a look at your money situation. And we're going to get some... Uh, see what your challenge is going to be for the month of May and then we'll get some advice and I'll also pull your fortune oracle and I'll read the extended meaning at the end so stay tuned and I will also pull your angel number as usual at the end okay so my lovely Sagittarius let's get some energy see what's going on for you in the month of May Give me a message for Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. So, three cards wanted to come out. So, obviously, Sagittarius. Okay. So, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. So, obviously, there's going to be some sort of red flags. Okay. We also have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. And we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. Okay. The immediate message that I'm getting, Sagittarius, is there could be some kind of third party situation happening. There could be someone that you're attracted to you or someone who is attracted, who you're attracted to. But I also feel like you're already in a relationship. I feel like you're already connected with someone. And, you know, you're being pulled between two decisions is what I'm feeling. You know, and I feel like the spirit is letting you know to pay attention to those signs. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the third party situation may not work out, but I feel like there are some red flags somewhere in the situation. It could be with your current relationship. It could be with the person that you're thinking about starting a relationship with. So I want you to be aware of those red flags, right? Pay attention, pay careful attention to something that just doesn't seem right or something that is just cautioning you to take it slow, right? Maybe you need to take extra time and care when it comes to one of these situations, okay? So that's what I have for you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on with Sagittarius's money. And these are just the oracle cards, so we're gonna get some tarot as well to clarify. Okay, so let's take a look at Sagittarius' money. What's going on in May 2023? Okay, we have it's time to release negativity. So I, what I'm getting is Sagittarius, there may be certain things blocking your manifestation, certain things blocking your money flow, and it could be a lot of negative energy. Okay, it could be a lot of negativity that's blocking things from happening for you at this time okay so there may be a need for you to release that negative energy so that good things can continue to flow right um so let's take a look at your angel number we'll also take a look at that money situation as well let's take a look at your angels what messages do we have for sagittarius Okay, we have chakra clearing, and that goes along with clearing out this negativity, right? Archangel Metron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using the sacred geomet geometric shapes. Okay, so there may be some chakra clearing that you may need to do. We also have spiritual understanding at the bottom. I'm bringing you the SS esoteric information and symbols helping you understand spiritual truths if you look at those those are also geometric as well so i thought that that would really fall into place with this uh, message here so thank you spirit for opening that up you may see those geometric 
uh, symbols. I feel like they're like a key to some kind of clarity that you'll be receiving in the month of May. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Sagittarius's love. And right off, I see the tower. There may be some kind of tower moment, but there will be also happiness. The Ten of Cups showing up, right? So let's go ahead and get your message. So I feel like May is going to be full of changes for you. Sagittarius. Maybe very unexpected changes. You're never expecting a tower moment. Um, those things just happen unexpectedly. You know, it's something that you may not see coming. But I feel like since it's accompanied by the Ten of Cups, I feel like it's Changes that are going to lead to happiness. Okay. So what messages do we have for Sagittarius? What messages for Sagittarius's love life in May? Give me a message, Spirit. Give me a message for Sagittarius's love life in May. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, overall energy, the Ace of Pentacles. That's a pretty good sign. We have the Hermit. We have the Queen of Wands. And actually, the Queen of Wands wanted to come out in reverse, so we'll talk about that. Okay. We have the, ooh, the Ace of Wands. A lot of energy and the Nine of Cups. Okay. So when it comes to your love, we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom. Okay. So when it comes to love, I feel like there's a lot of things that you've been soul searching about, my beautiful uh, Sagittarius. There's a lot of things that you've been thinking about lately. Maybe you've been soul searching, asking for clarity on certain situations. I really feel like you may be spending a lot of time alone trying to do that soul searching. Maybe you're doing that inner work. Okay. Um, you've been looking for answers. And I feel like with that hermit, excuse me, with that hangman energy, could be a lot of sacrifices that you're making. You could be releasing certain things so that something good can come around. You know, you had this Queen of Wands energy, um, but I feel like this Queen of Wands, it actually wanted to come out in reverse. So I feel like, you know, maybe in your, in, a certain aspect of your life you've been insecure about situations there's some kind of situation that you're insecure about you um, I also see a lot of jealousy I think people are really looking at you as having so much going on for yourself right people see you as having it all together you know, being able to get certain things that they may not get at the time. So I feel like there could be a lot of jealousy and insecurities around you at the moment. But I do see that good things are coming in. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. So definitely good things coming in for you, Sagittarius. As far as your love life, I feel like there's going to be plenty of opportunities to pursue something um, that seems to be pretty incredible um, if you're single. And now if you're attached, my lovely Sagittarius, I feel like, you know, this is your relationship going in a totally different direction, but opening up to new opportunities. Maybe you and your person are going to the next level. There's some kind of newness to this relationship. The Ace of Pentacles is beginnings. You know, so there may be some kind of new beginning happening for you. Something is escalating. Something is bringing you a lot of 
uh, prosperity and good health, right? You're feeling really good about the situation. The, the Ace of Wands, this is a lot of passion. This is new passion. And having the willpower, having the desire to really push this forward. So I feel like with this Ace of Wands energy, you're really putting in a lot of work this month when it comes to your love life. If you are attached, I feel like, you know, you and this person are becoming very passionate, very giving. Um, you're both putting in a lot of value into the situation and it's taking your situation to a new level. If you're single, my beautiful Sagittarius, this is definitely new passion coming in for you. This is definitely something new. And with this Nine of Cups energy, this is something that you've been waiting and hoping for. You know, this is something that, that's going to bring a lot of satisfaction, a lot of fulfillment to your life, to your situation. Okay, I feel like you're going to be satisfied in many different ways, right? Because this, this Wands energy is just fire, it's passion. Okay, the Pentacles is all about wealth and good health and family. So, yeah, I mean, you may be thinking about starting a family with this person. We're going to go ahead and clarify after we do your challenge. But you have this King of Pentacles at the bottom. This is also Earth energy. So we have a lot of fire here. Uh, we have Earth energy. We have, you know, some cups. So definitely, um, definitely we have... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we also have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, so you're bringing your energy to the table. We also have Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, right? And for the Hermit energy, this is all Virgo, okay? Um, but King of Pentacles, this is Capricorn energy, right? So with this King of Pentacles energy showing up on the bottom, this is something that you're not really seeing at the moment but this is someone who is bringing to the table a lot of prosperity right this is also a, someone who's very generous who's um, a good provider this could also be abundance coming into your life okay we have the three of cups energy so we have support here you know we have a uh, friendship coming in and with the Three of Cups, we also have a strong connection. So you may be, you may have this strong connection to this Capricorn energy, okay? And it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but I'm just giving you those signs. Um, but yeah, there may be a very strong connection here when it comes to this King, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at your money. We'll get a message for Sagittarius's money real quick. And then we will um, get the challenge from the Caravan. Okay, message for Sagittarius for May. What's going on with Sagittarius's money? What is going on with Sagittarius's money? Give me a message, Spirit. The month of May was going on with Sagittarius' finances, money, career. Okay, the sun. I'm loving that energy. So it's going to be a really good month for you as far as your finances go. Okay, so we have the judgment card. We have the Page of Swords. Okay. What else do we have? For Sagittarius is money. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands wanted to pop out twice in the Justice card. Okay. And we have the Six of Wands at the bottom. So this is success here. And you have a lot of happiness 
for the month of May. So I really feel like um, your financial situation is really looking bright, okay? Um, with the judgment card starting out here, um, now the sun can also mean that there's some kind of awakening, there's some kind of reflection that you've been doing. The judgment card is also an awakening, but it's also a rebirth, a re something's being renewed, something is being um, restored to you, right? Um, so I feel like there's like a restoration going on for you, especially with this justice card at the end. Something is definitely going your way. Something is finally becoming right. Where you've been wronged in the past, that is now being made right. So you're becoming more equal. You, you know, you're being restored in your situation in the month of May. So I feel like in the past months, if you've lost something, Sagittarius, I feel like that is definitely going to be restored for you. You're going to see a abundance of gain when it comes to uh, your finances. Okay? Now, the Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like there may be someone who may be manipulating something as far as your money is concerned. So be very careful with that. Um, there may be some kind of deception as far as, you know, that page in reverse. Um, so I just want you to be aware of that is something that you want to be aware of. There is some sort of deception. And I'll go ahead and clarify that in a moment. Um, with this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like you're... You know, this is joyful energy. This is you putting in a lot of work, putting in a lot of action, you know, being very assertive and also being determined. Determination is the word that I'm getting, right? She's very determined to succeed. She is going to succeed, you know, because she has that confidence. She's, you know, putting off that that fire, that passion that is bringing in that flow of cash, right? And I feel like there's something that you've definitely been determined to do because we have the six of wands at the bottom and the chariot, right? Oh, and the ten <laughs> and the ten of pentacles. So with the six of wands, the chariot, and the ten of pentacles, there, I mean, you have success here. You could also be taking a trip, but there's so much abundance with this Ten of Pentacles energy. You know, some kind of effort that you put in into the past with the Seven of Pentacles is now bringing in the fruit. You know, it's now showing you that, you know, your efforts are being recognized. They're being rewarded. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be surprises for you in the month of May. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your challenge real quick. Let's take a look and see what will be challenging my beautiful Sagittarius in the month of May. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Being able to take action. Now, the Queen of Wands has come out three times in this reading. So definitely... I mean, we're pushing on that Empress energy. You've got that flow going. But I, in this challenge position, I feel like, you know, you're going to have trouble staying motivated to keep something going. You know, there's going to be something that may make you a little insecure. If, if you recall, you know, that Queen of Wands at the top wanted to come out in reverse. That's insecurity. That's jealousy. That can also be selfishness, right? Um, but here, the Queen is now upright. She's gained her balance. She's gained her confidence. And she's working on something that is, you know, what she's trying to master. You could be trying to master something. You you should you can be trying to perfect a situation in the month of May. We also have the world. So definitely, you know, there's cycles that are ending. 
there may be something that, that you may need to end in order to begin something new. There's something that needs to be healed so that you can take a new offer. You know? Give me some advice for Sagittarius. Why is the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the World card here? Give me some advice. Give me some advice for Sagittarius' challenge. What do they need to know? Okay, the Three of Swords. There's something that may leave you a little discouraged. There's going to be a lot of changes. There's a tower coming out. There's going to be a lot of changes happening. I'm, I'm really getting the... I'm really getting the image of you leaving a situation in order for something better to come about. Okay? That's what I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting that... You know, that's this immediate change, okay? That's this tower moment. And I feel like something is leaving you very discouraged, very heartbroken, very sad. And I feel like it's something very hard for you to let go of. But I'm really seeing that there's something that you will be releasing in order for this new beginning to start, okay? Give me a message. Why is the Three of Swords in the Tower here, Spirit? Give me a message. Why is the Three of Swords in the Tower here? The Seven of Cups. There's a lot of confusion. There also may be too many options for you to choose from. We have the Eight of Cups at the bottom. We have the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups, right? So there may be a lot of confusion about a situation. I feel like you don't quite have all of the answers that you need just yet. Um, there may, for some of you, this is too many opportunities to choose from. Okay? Too many things that are bogging down your mind when it comes to having the ability to make a choice. Okay, but there is something that you're letting go of. There's a, there is something that you're walking away from. You know, we have the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse to the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so there's something that you're walking away from. And because you're walking away from this, I feel like you may feel like you have a lack of resources, but there's this offer right behind it. Okay, um, so you feel like something isn't going to work out. And as soon as you feel like this isn't going to work, you know, I feel like this opportunity kind of steps in and fulfills a new desire. Okay, um, there's some kind of offer that's being given to you. This is good news with this Page of Pentacles energy. So I feel like right after you feel this sadness about whatever this confusion is and you release that energy, I feel like this offer comes in at just the opportune moment. Right? Very interesting. Hmm. In May, you'll have to... Let me know in the comments what this situation is, you know, how this resonates with you, because that's very interesting, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and clarify for Sagittarius. Why do we have the Hermit and the Queen of Wands? Give me a message for the Hermit, excuse me, the Hangman. And the Queen of Wands. Give me a message for the Hangman and the Queen of Wands. For Sagittarius. Why are they here for their love and relationship? The Six Cups in Reverse. And yeah. 
and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, that's the reason why that six of that's the reason why that Queen of Wands was in reverse. Because there's insecurities here, because there's definitely something that you're walking away from. You may be leaving home, you may be leaving a marriage, leaving a relationship, because you have someone who you may be attracted to, right? There's a new offer coming in. And I feel like in order to um in order to not be in a third party situation, you are choosing to leave the situation. Now, this is just for some of you. So don't get crazy on me, okay? Um but this will resonate with someone. Uh, I feel like you're leaving a relationship because you have another offer that you find has more passion, has more fire. You know, some someone that you've really been attracted to for a while. And now that opportunity has come along. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom. So I feel like, you know, you're feeling... You've been feeling kind of, kind of smothered by your current relationship. You know, you've been feeling like there's no love. There's no work being put into your situation. You're feeling very unsatisfied, unappreciated, right? And you feel like you've kind of had enough. You put your demands in there, Sagittarius, and you feel like your demands are going unheard. Like you're not being recognized as having these feelings. You know, there's no work being put into this relationship. So you feel like you have no choice but to move ahead, you know, to move past this current relationship that you're in. Okay. Now, like I said, this is just for some of you. Okay, hey, uh, give me a message for this Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. Why is the Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups here? Give me a message. Why is the Ace of Wands and Nine of Cups? Okay, the Two of Wands and the Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're moving past this heartbreak. Right now, you and this person could be in the talking stage. Maybe you're planning. Maybe you're like in that dating, getting to know each other stage, right? But you're currently going through healing when it comes to the situation. And I feel like this person is very easy for you to open up with. They're very easy to talk to. You feel like this person understands you. They hear what you're saying. They pay attention to your words, right? That's how I'm feeling. They pay attention to you. They see and ask what you're feeling, okay? So I'm going to look a little bit deeper. Let's see. Spirit, give me a message. Why is the two of wands and the three, three of swords in reverse? Why is the two of wands and the three of swords in reverse? Yeah, the eight of cups in reverse. So you may not have you may not have left the situation yet, but you are planning. Okay? You're planning on making your moves when it comes to leaving a situation because I feel like you kind of um you've come to this aha moment when you see that your needs are just as important as someone else's. And your need to be satisfied, appreciated, and truly taken care of are coming out ahead of, you know, staying in the relationship. And I feel like you've done a lot of soul searching when it's come to this situation. I feel like you put a lot of thought into it. You put a lot of yourself into it. You know, I feel like, you know, you may be going through this dark soul of the night situation to where you are, have been really deeply soul searching. Yeah, I feel like you've been doing a lot of soul searching 
about which way to go. And this is the only thing that's going to bring you to the place of independence, the place to feel truly whole. Okay? Um, yeah, you're trying to free yourself from some kind of situation. You, you just want to be free. You want to be independent. You want to feel worthy, you know? And I feel like that's what you're looking for. You just feel like the situation that you're in, there is no win in sight, you know? There's no way for you to be heard, to be seen, to be understood, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and move on. Let's get to your money situation. Okay, give me a message for Sagittarius. Why is the Judgment card in the Page of Swords in reverse? Okay, the King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Nine of Wands. Okay. I feel like you may have been saving for a while. You know, you, you're trying to protect your finances here. You're trying to hold on to your money. You could be saving at the moment. You know, being very frugal. Um, I feel like, you know, you're not indulging in the usual things that you spend on, right? Um, you're not indulging in things that, you know, usually make you happy. And I feel like you are, when it comes to your finances, you're like, Protecting your finances in a way that you're not trying to overspend. You're you see you see where the changes need to be made in your finances, and you're like making those changes. I feel like that's why the sun is here, because you are noticing these things and you're making good changes as far as your finances. So why is the Queen of Wands in the Justice card here? Why is the Queen of Wands in the Justice card? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles in, excuse me, the Ten of Wands in reverse and the Devil. Yeah, I feel like there could have been things that have left you really overspending when it comes to certain situations. It could be this relationship that you're losing money on, right? Um, it could be, that could be where all your finances are going. You're being depleted from the situation. But we have the world card here, you know, so we have a cycle that's ending. And we do have the full card. So we do have some kind of new beginning, but we have the full card in reverse. We also have the empress. So I feel like there's money coming in, you know. Uh, that full card in reverse, this is... This can be maybe being a little reckless with your spending at times. Maybe you're a social spender. Maybe you're an emotional spender, you know. Um, so I feel like if you're spending money at this moment with all this going on in your love situation, I feel like, you know, there may be things that you may need to think through. Right? Because you could be spending too much money on certain things. And with this Ten of, of Wands in reverse on the Devil card, you know, there's some things that you're stressed out about. But I feel like, you know, this is Capricorn energy. This is also could be a negative energy. Okay? Something that's blocking you. Something that's holding you back. You know, I feel like you need to set yourself free. From that financial bondage that you're feeling because it's just bringing you stress. Okay, it's bringing you a lot of stress. But I feel like that's ending for you. Okay, um, I feel like you're going to get this under control with this Empress energy in the world. Okay, but there is something that maybe you need to think through because there's something either you're being reckless about or there's something that you're being naive about that you're not seeing things really clearly okay but there is a need to plan and look what we got 
look ace of pentacles ace of swords right so definitely some kind of new beginning coming through for you you're going to have that clarity very soon okay so let's go ahead and pull your fortune oracle okay so we have the judgment card the number 14 soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life okay so we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what that card means the number 14 so we have, you are taking a long look at your life, your current situation as well as your past, and perhaps questioning some of the decisions you've made. There's a lot of soul searching taking place, walks down memory lane as you review your life. Did you make the right choices? Did you follow the right path? Many self-doubts will surround you, but time spent alone will give you inner peace. Don't let anyone interfere with your decisions. This card shows that you have the answers within and the help you need to make necessary changes for the future. You will know the right path and gain wisdom on the way. In your personal relationships, we have a reluctance to let go of some relationships is being reviewed and you are becoming aware of an unconscious knowledge that you know what to do. Remember, important life lessons have been learned and there are no relationship mistakes. Don't let others sway you from your new direction. You will make the right relationship choices. This applies to business and personal relationships as well as friendships. Okay, and your money. You are opening up to new possibilities. News or ads in the newspaper or internet will inspire money-making ideas and new career paths. You want to lead a more fulfilling life. Have, a, have the courage to follow your own destiny. You will bring what you need into your life and achieve your goals. You may be hesitant about some aspects of your life, but remember... Without change, life will become stagnant and perhaps have no purpose. Your power tip. A phoenix or an eagle placed on your desk or in a prominent position in your home will help give you the ultimate power to move forward magnificently. Okay, so that is your oracle card. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and take a look at your angel number. So we have 222, balance. Now's the time to take inventory of your feelings. Are there any feelings of an imbalance and resistance? Divine whispers are here to remind you that the alignment that you seek also seeks you. Breathe, rest, and reset. Okay, your affirmation, what feels peaceful and calm easily finds me as I restore the balance within me. Okay, so gaining balance at this time, meditation, contemplating your situation, going within, you know, this is all going to bring balance to you and help you bring that peace into your life, my beautiful Sag. Okay, so... Sagittarius, this is your May reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. Uh, they may have different messages. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.